Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, in this video we are back in Southwest Florida and alright guys here is the hyper car that I think is just better over the other two uh, best hyper cars just better overall um, compared to all the other hyper cars that is the Bugatti Veyron uh, as you guys see here this thing looks pretty clean all carbon fiber as you guys see right here the carbon fiber all around the whole body here pretty cool as you guys see lots of lo lots and lots of carbon fiber all over the car um, the car is actually mainly carbon fiber Ma the body is mainly carbon fiber um, other than this color here which you can change you can't change the color because um, the car is carbon fiber only thing you could change is this um i have mine's white because i think white just looks very clean on the veyron but here it is uh here's the walk around looks very very nice um but yeah let's get a quick startup and hear how this thing sounds As you guys all heard there this thing actually sounds pretty clean um but here we go let's uh head on to the road actually here um actually let's do a light test first so here we have the headlights on this thing we got tail lights um tail lights are not that bright brake lights way brighter we got small reverse lights on each um, one got the blinkers here pretty small blinkers uh blinkers in the front actually looks cleaner than the back as you guys see even on the side mirror pretty clean um but yeah let's actually bring this thing out onto the road really quick here we go um so far this thing turns pretty well turns corners takes corners very easily without losing control or anything like that as you guys see here Pretty stable car. Um, doesn't really lose control that much. We are literally at. Uh, let's head up to 100 miles per hour, and then check uh, the stableness of the car. Pretty good, basically. Um, basically, pretty good. Um, this car is pretty stable actually. But yeah, this thing is also very quick in acceleration. Let's actually do a quick speed test over here. Um, let's do a launch test. So this thing is all wheel drive, um, which is pretty good actually. So here we go. Traction control off and launch. Um, that, that was not a hard launch. Yes, I don't think this thing actually launches hard. I don't know if it's just me, but this thing just never launches for me. Anyways. Even though it does not have a um, a good launch, this thing just flies right off the line. We are already at 200. Oh, never mind. Oops. Let's actually head back over here to do the speed test because uh, that was a fail. Let me actually change the time here so it doesn't get dark. Uh, let's do nine o'clock. There we go. Let's do speed test. Here we go. And let's launch this thing. There we go. And we are already at 60 miles per hour in like two seconds or so. Around two seconds. We are heading up to 200 miles per hour. There we go. Uh, 240. There we go. Um, and we are slowly accelerating more and more. Um, 260. 261 262 263 honestly this thing could probably get to like 264 
or more but um on this road it gets up to 263 which is not bad not bad at all but um yeah actually pretty good um so far driving this thing actually handles just so well takes corners like nothing um turns also very well um but yeah here we go honestly i think this thing is better than the roadster firstly firstly because of the price this thing is cheaper than the roadster um but then um secondly this thing is faster than the roadster believe it or not but uh, i have raced a couple roadsters in this bugatti veyron and the bugatti took it it actually um beat the roadster um in a race because the roadster does not have that much of a high top speed plus uh this thing also accelerates pretty quickly compared to the roadster roadster obviously electric um accelerates way quicker not way quicker but it's electric so it does accelerate quicker than the veyron obviously but yeah this thing is technically faster than the roadster um this thing could beat any roadster in a race most of the time at least but yeah that is why it is better than the roadster moving on to the koenigsegg this thing um uh, honestly is i don't know it's just more convenient than the koenigsegg koenigsegg is just so wide in my opinion i don't know i don't know if it's just me but the thing is wide um and i honestly like the look of the bugatti better bugatti actually can beat the koenigsegg in a short race um sometimes but most of the time on a normal long straight road koenigsegg obviously takes a kit because the koenigsegg has a higher top speed than the bugatti veyron um but this is uh like couple hundred thousands more than the um koenigsegg but honestly the sink just looks way cleaner than the koenigsegg that's just my opinion but yeah now uh let's actually check out the price of this thing all right guys here we are in the dealership got the 2011 bugatti veyron in game name 2011 bulatti veyron super sport um, yeah, so this actually is the Super Sport Veyron, uh, not the normal, not just the normal Veyron, but this thing comes out to a price of $3,215,000, um, the second most expensive car in the game, most expensive is the 2021 Edison Roadster, which is the 2021 Tesla Roadster, $3,500,000, and the Koenigsegg, 2014 Koenigsegg Agera R, three million one hundred dollars which is cheaper than the bugatti by like a hundred thousand dollars but um yeah the bugatti actually has more torque 1106 torque this thing has 886 this thing has 1140 horsepower this thing has the bugatti has 1184 horsepower the weight is 4387 um but yeah, the Koenigsegg is the Koenigsegg is lighter. Um, this thing Koenigsegg is rear wheel drive. Um, Bugatti is all wheel drive. Uh, two seater. This is two seater. Um, the Tesla Roadster just has a huge amount of torque. Seven thousand um, torque. Four thousand pounds heaviest all wheel drive, and this thing actually has this thing can actually carry up to four people which is pretty nice but in my opinion the bugatti is just the better car on looks and stuff performance bugatti is just better in my opinion but yeah i think that would have to conclude the video guys hope you guys all enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye